Complete rubbish. Who? Who's that? You've always thought yourself a writer, but you're rubbish. Who, who is this? It's you. What, what do you mean, it's me? I am you. How can you... How can you be me? I am me, and you are you. <laughs> Who, whoever you are. It's no use turning down the sound. I'm in your head. What, what do you mean? Uh, you're, you, you're in my head. I'm in your head. You are we. We are us. There's something wrong here somewhere. You're wasting your time. But it, it must be a, must be a virus. It's a virus. That's who you are. You're a virus. Don't believe me? Then why did you let our little brother get a hiding from Mum and me, not the paint potter over in the lounge? How, how did you know that? Because I'm you. I must be dreaming or, or having some kind of so psychotic experience. We recently got a sore toe when we walked into the bed last night. We... Wet our pants in Mrs. Knott's class, second day of school. Our first sex was behind the wimpy bar, but it started raining, and Vanessa Starr started crying because it was her first time too. We farted at Grandpa's funeral, and our brother kicked us in the shins when we started laughing. Shall I go on? How do you know these things? Because I'm you. Well, why haven't I heard you, why haven't I heard you talk to me before? Us. All right, us. Why haven't I heard you talk to us before? Because we've never looked for us. How, how do you mean? We haven't connected. Not connected? We have coexisted in the same mind, in the same time and in the same space. Well, uh, yeah. well you must be anger. <laughs> Why do you say that? Because you said my book was rubbish. Our book. All right, our book. But it is... We've been writing for years, and where's it got us? A lot of pleasure and happiness. Happiness, my arse. Our arse. It's been you daydreaming and head in the clouds that's held us back. Our daydreaming. No, you're daydreaming. Your emotions have dominated our life, never wanting to take a risk. I've tried many times to take control of our key decisions, but you have dominated with your pushy washy mustn't take a risk for fear of failure. That's not fair. My instinct was not to take that job in Birmingham, which was a disaster. But you dominated it. You dominated the, the thinking then. You caused, you caused us to leave a really nice job in Tamworth because of your blindness to risk. You caused the risk to be a disaster because of your constant doubt and lack of confidence. Just the same when we were teenagers. How many times did you hold back from asking girls to the dance or, or going on a date? You couldn't cope with rejection. <sighs> yes, I could. It's just that you placed us in endless situations of rejection, forcing us to ask girls that were way out of our league. No wonder rejection kicked in. Kicked in? Kicked in? Rejection was you. It made rejection us. Uh, uh, caution, not rejection. That's what made our life successful. All our life successful, maybe in, in your small-minded, short-sighted, little boring world, not in mine. Now, now, boys. Ah, who the hell are you? I am you. Oh, not again. Now you're a woman. Yes, of course I am. But, but we're not gay. We don't have to be gay to coexist with each other. Have you always coexisted with us? Of course. All men have a piece of woman, as all women have a piece of men. We coexist on a spectrum. We are either dominant, passive, or neutral. So where are we on the spectrum? You tell me. Well, I know where I am on the spectrum, and it's not at the woman's end. <laughs> yes, your influence has been pretty insignificant. Well said. You think so? Then why do you think you always dress up as a woman whenever we go to a fancy dress party, if I am so insignificant? Yeah, but... So who do you think stops you from getting rough during sex? 
Who's taught you to be tender and gentle? Who's taught you to love? Who has taught you to understand women's equality? It's the woman in all men that has tamed men, as the men in woman has taught women to understand men. Bollocks. Oh, not another one. Women are there for our enjoyment, for our pleasure. Christ, we have white van man on board now. Woman's coexistence is only recent. It was only a few generations ago that your existence took hold. In the old days, women did as they were told. If the man wanted sex, he had it. None of that, not now, darling. If he wanted it, he got it. And if he wanted more than one woman, that was his business. Thankfully, I'm still here to propagate the old order. Well, I must admit, I'd rather coexist with a woman than coexist with you. Speak for yourself. Now you know why men still want to undress every woman they look at. Why they still have sex on their minds every seven minutes watch porn and have dirty dreams. It's this perverse throwback from the Stone Age that still tries to coexist, and as you can see, still tries to dominate men's emotions. Well, we're, we're not like that now, are we? Hmm. Some men are getting better, but there's still a long way to go. Come off it. We've been much better at respecting women in our lives. No more affairs and strip clubs these days. My time will come again. Long live Trump. Oh, well, I think that's game, set and match. <sighs> yeah, I, I agree. Why did the chicken go to the seance to get to the other side? A miniature village in Bournemouth caught fire and the flames could be seen nearly three feet away. Oh, I love sex at 68, but I live at 67. <laughs> hey, everyone's a winner, folks. Oh, don't tell us. You're the humorous side of us. Invisible man goes to the doctor demanding an appointment. Receptionist says, Sorry, the doctor can't see you. I think that's a yes. Oh. All the world's a stage. All men and women are mere players. Don't look at me like that or I'll smash your face in. I forgive you. Yes, all right, I was frightened, I'm sorry. I will not be bullied by anyone. <laughs> I will. It's a son. I'll accept the job. Is there a cure? I you love bitch. You. you bitch. I love you. Never again. Call the fire brigade. Go. I love you. What? What? What's going on? Are we having a breakdown? Call the AA. Have you not realised what's going on, you lot? No. We've had a heart attack. We're dying. I. I don't want to die. It's not so bad, is it? That nurse has got big tits. Not now! Knock, knock! Who's there? Death! Death who? Is it over? Yes. It's over. Look. He's smiling. 